Hi, I'm Barry Robinson, Professor of Biological Sciences at the University of Idaho. And I'm Terry Soule, a Professor of Computer Science at the University of Idaho. We're the founders of Polymorphic Games, a University of Idaho-based video game design studio that creates games that are based on the principles of evolutionary science. We're here to introduce the science behind our first game, Darwin's Demons. Evolution always wins. Darwin's Demons is an arcade-style space shooter. And while most space shooters are scripted, featuring waves of aliens that are encoded into the game, in Darwin's Demons, your opponents evolve. You're battling against an opponent called the Protean Swarm. The Protean Swarm is made up of individuals with digital genomes, and these genomes control all of their traits, how they behave, what kind of projectiles they fire, and so on. As you battle the members of the Protean Swarm, they accrue fitness based on how accurately they fire at you and how aggressively they move down the screen towards you. Fitness is roughly the equivalent of a score, but for the Proteans. At the end of each generation, those scores are used to determine which Proteans get to reproduce. Part of the reproduction process includes a mutation step, so the digital genomes are mutated slightly, and in fact the mutation rates we use are much higher than what you would see in biology, so that we can see evolution, it takes place in the game reasonably quickly rather than over hundreds of years. Once the player is done upgrading their ship, you hit launch and you battle the next generation of Proteans. Over several generations, adaptation occurs, and if you play for long enough, say 10 or 20 generations, you can evolve some truly nasty aliens. One of the things that we've noticed as we've been testing and developing Darwin's Demons is that evolution makes games really difficult. One of the really nice features of Darwin's Demons is experiment mode, in which you can go in and change the settings, and in particular the settings related to evolution, the population size, the mutation rate, and so forth. And in addition, all of the data, all of the genomes and the fitnesses for every protean in the swarm gets output to a file, and so you can run experiments and analyze the results. One of the things we're working on now is to create curricular materials that'll allow Darwin's demons to be used more easily in the classroom to teach and demonstrate evolution. So thanks for watching. We really hope you enjoy playing Darwin's Demons. Have fun climbing the leaderboards and unlocking all of the cool ships and secondary systems we've put in the game. But don't forget, you're going to die. Evolution always wins.